The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 35. You get the Nasdaq off 16. S&Ps are off 5. You get some big action out here, folks. You get fast markets. Uh, gold. Gold's up 450, trading at 1281 an ounce. We have silver trading. Uh, let's see. Silver is uh, right now up 3 cents, $17.21 cents. Uh, light sweet crude flat, fifty-four dollars and thirty cents. You got the note market up eight seven ticks, one twenty-five oh four. Thirty-year bond up twenty-two at one fifty-three fourteen. And king dollar, king dollar down two hundred and forty-nine ticks, trading ninety-four point four seven zero. The euro is at one sixteen to the U.S. dollar. The yen is trading out here at one thirteen and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, you can hit the banner on the top, bring up the exchange as we um, trade these defined option contracts. And what we just had inside that NDX, that NDX just fell apart, folks. Uh, get down. Let's go take a look at this baby. So uh, inside the NDX 100, let's see what we have out here. This is uh, where this baby is shaking out. We have the, the strength is Qualcomm up 2.5%. Checkpoint Software is up 2.3%. Liberty Financial is up 2%. Taken away from it. You get Symantec down 10% or $3.25. Discovery Communication is off 6% or $1.13. Tesla. Tesla is down 5%. Trading down $16 at $3.04. If we do go look at Tesla, what you're going to see here is that Tesla's taken out the B point, 1.8 million shares. It's already done 1.6. Uh, this is setting up a small, well, a good size ABC down. You get 363 is your A point. Uh, your B, that A point was uh, generated out here on October 18th. Uh, your B point is 316. So uh, what do we get? Uh, so you get about $48 there. Uh, that's going to get you into that 285. And right now you hit 300 thus far. If we bring this back and we put this on a weekly, uh, what you're going to see is that uh, you do have a high volume low at 303. That's what it's going after. Uh, your next leg down is 283. 283 looks game. And if you get inside 283, then it's going to be really a, a tough one. Uh, what you do have just as, as where we are right now uh, you have everyone that has bought Tesla back from the April of 2017 in a losing position. And uh, the numbers on Tesla uh, bought, so that's technically. Fundamentally, folks, the numbers uh, are not there. Um, he hasn't come through with the amount of cars that are going to go out there. Um, straight across the board, too. Now, and so they're backing down on many of those things, and, and it's a big number. We get over when we take a look at the S&Ps. What you have with the S&Ps, S&Ps right now are down nine, and uh, bottom line, this market is selling away. Um, you know, we have, uh, we just went from a price point of uh, 25, uh, six, 25.76 to 2565 in about a heartbeat. So you can expect more action uh, as we're moving into the uh, day today. It's only at 10 past 10 this morning. Uh, we have uh, Facebook down at $3.76. You have a GE, there she goes, uh, GE, let's go to GE. GE's going after the first high volume swing low and that high volume swing low, it, it, we, on a monthly basis, it already blew it out uh, when we finished the month out yesterday. Now it's going to break it. Uh, the number we're talking about was $19.37. Thus far, I've hit $19.71. Uh, bottom line with GE, guess what? $11.35. That's what's coming at us, which is going to be pretty intense. Um, there's just uh, GE's on a, on a one-way route downtown. Uh, Newell Brands, that's getting smoked. That's down 25%. Uh, so this is Rubbermaid, I believe. Uh, down 930, you're trading at $31. Let's see what's going on with this one. So 
man, to talk about falling out of bed, holy cow. Okay, so this is down from highs of 55. You're at 31. You're blowing away your, your swing point of 33. Put this on a monthly and see what we got. It's a classic. You get a high volume low. It did a high with light volume. Now, this is, this is going to be a real problem, child, because this has volume off its high. And volume off its high always, not always, nothing is always in the market uh, or any time, actually. But um, bottom line, more than likely $15.70 uh, is coming uh, at you inside uh, Newell. We go take a look at, uh, let's see, the next one's out here. Okay, so uh, okay, we already went through Tesla. Uh, Wayfair, oh, look at this thing, down $14. So Wayfair, folks, is a high-end seller of merchandise for your home. Uh, let's see, so that's down $15. We take a look at this. This is going right back into $45. Right now, you're at $59. let us see what they say number-wise. And this is going to be another one that Amazon is hitting. So the estimate was $1.2 billion in revenue. They took in $1.2. Uh, the, they thought they were going to lose $0.45. Cents. They lost $0.65. Cents. And what you have here is this. I'm familiar with this company in a big way because bottom line is that they sell a lot of stuff that you could buy. But guess what? They're more expensive, a lot more expensive than Amazon. So what you can do is that you can go on Wayfair, you take a look at what they have because they have some really hip stuff, and then guess what? Just like we used to do, you used to go in the, the stores, look at the stores, and then you go on the internet and buy it. Well, Wayfair is that type of internet store that you can go in there with some great ideas, then go back on Amazon and watch them beat the price. Pretty wild. 877-927-6648. We go take a look at Facebook. Uh, Facebook right now, that's down four dollars, trading at uh, 178, and uh, 175 49 is game. You get back inside that, and what you're going to see is this: um, you are going to you're going to be down into the 161 area. That's the consolidation that Facebook has been in. Uh, we had overtaken that high. Uh, last, uh, let's say, no, we tell we take that high on Monday, dramatically lighter volume, 24 million shares versus 68. Bottom line, you're going to try to get back inside that area today. And uh, if you do, guess what? It's just going to be a consolidation. And that consolidation, uh, bottom line, is a very large one that lower prices will be coming at you. Uh, Apple, Apple is uh, at 165.91 and 164. 94 is the number to keep your eye on. The reason being is that that's what Apple did take out. Now, the difference with Apple is that Apple actually took that out and had some volume when it took it out on Monday, meaning that swing point. Uh, that's on the daily. If we take a look at Apple and we take a look at Apple and put that on the weekly, you get a different animal happening because Apple did come off its highs with volume as it went from 163 to 157. Um, so it looks to me like Apple, when they do come out with the numbers, that they're going to be down at 142, and they're at 165.96. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. So we'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are down 78. You get the Nasdaq off 30. S&Ps are off 11 and a half. You got gold up 720. You get silver up. Uh, where's silver? Silver's on fire too. That's up uh, uh, four cents. Big deal. King dollar's getting smoked. Bye-bye, King Dollar. Come right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Let's go. Uh, we're going to try to do this uh, on the fly. So uh, the, the, uh, the tax plan just got released. Let's see. So the bill keeps the top tax rate at 39.6% for the highest earners and roughly doubles the standard deduction for middle class families. It expands the child tax credit to $1,600 from $1,000 and won't make any differences in the 401k plans. Um, it does propose changes to the popular mortgage interest deduction under the Republic plan. Existing homeowners can keep their mortgage interest deduction, but future purchases will be capped at 500000 The bill cuts the corporate tax rate to 20% from 35%. Oh, that's really interesting, man. So check this out. So existing homeowners can keep their mortgage interest deduction. That's going to that's gonna stop people from moving pretty quick. That's interesting, man. Okay, according to topping, uh, talking points, the bill makes no changes to popular retirement. Uh, options uh, that Americans have today. One of the biggest flashpoints will be how the bill treats the state and local tax deductions, which, which lawmakers are proposing to cap at 10,000. That will be enough for Republicans in some high tax states where middle class families make heavy use of that deduction. The, the compromise, as has been sketched out this week, would preserve the deduction for property taxes, but not for state and local income taxes, which are big money. And it appeared that uh, there, would, there would be a cap on the deduction, but at first glance, it did not appear that it was enough uh, to win over the, all of New York and New, York, New Jersey members. House Republicans had intended to roll out the tax proposal yesterday, but ended up delaying the reach a day, providing a signal uh, of the steep challenges they will face making the math work while assembling the votes that they are going to need. Um, so we'll see how this uh, whole thing shakes out, and I, I expect what you're going to see out here uh, all day long um, is uh, high volatility. Uh, thus far, the market, <laughs> the market is not digging, uh, you know, what, what is there. Well, they, you know, that's not even, that's, the, the, the market wants to sell off anyway. You know, so we, we'll see where this whole thing's going to shake out. It looks to me like um, you're gonna, you're gonna have a, there's going to there's gonna be a battle basically uh, everywhere. Um, so right now on on your S and P's, uh, we are at 25.65. You know, close below 25.74 puts game on uh, for those two 
spikes that we had last week. We had the spike at 25.42, then we come and tested it at 25.41. So that's, uh, that's game right now. Uh, we take a look at some of the uh, Dow stocks out here. Um, actually, no, let's go here. One second. We've got to go back into it. Today is uh, Thursday. I know Tommy's on his way out to Las Vegas because there's a uh, Traders Expo out there. So let's go take a look at natural gas inside the natural gas market. So if we go over to the Nadex platform, let's see what we got here. So commodities and natural gas. Okay, so we're taking a look at the 11 AMs right now. So natural gas right now is trading at 293, and we have a 290. Let's see what we got here. Let me put this up. So we've had, uh, we've moved from 290 to 293 out here today. And let me put this one. Yeah, there's, uh, let me, okay, so let's do this. You get natural gas, 293 is the number. Yeah, this thing doesn't look to me like it's going to go any higher. It's, it's interesting. This is, natural gas is, uh, yeah, it's got trouble in paradise. Uh, 284 is, is, not, is game here. Um, yeah, if we go back, I want to go back to that uh, tax bill for a second, too. One second. Okay, market's falling apart here, particularly the, uh, so the, normally what happens, it was a question that then, uh, so the question is, is the 500K or anything above 500K uh, for the write-off? Normally what happens is this, is that, like, when you go from tax bracket to tax bracket, the first you, first year you're going to pay taxes on the amount that goes up to that, then you jump up to the next bracket, then you jump up to the next bracket. Um, the, so that would say to me, the bill would cap mortgage interest deduction on new home sales at 500000 a departure from the current cap of a million for couples filing jointly, according to a memo written by the House Ways Committee. It would impose, okay, so what that normally means is that no matter how big the house would be, right? Well, if it's the, what I'm trying to figure out, does that mean that you buy a house over 500 grand, it would mean that the first 500,000 on interest rate deduction you could write off? Or does it mean you're writing off 500,000? I don't think, I don't think you're writing off 500,000. I think you're writing off, so if you buy a house for a million, you could write off the f on the loan. Let's say the loan's a million. The first 500000 may be it. We'll see. Um, it would also impose a tax of 12% on multinational companies accumulated offshore earnings, a rate that's higher than either uh, Trump or Paul Ryan wanted. It would phase out the estate tax over years more slowly than either of them prefer. Um, I guess, you know, thus far, uh, the benefit would be capped at 10000 hey, We'll find out when we get the rest of it out there. Um, so Dow Industrials right now are down 64. You get the NASDAQ off 25. S&Ps are off 9.5. Uh, we go take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials, and this is what you have. Uh, the strength inside the Dow, uh, point-wise, we are, would, as Big Mac, that's putting 10 positive points. Boeing's putting 7. Travel's putting 4. Taken away from it, Home Depot, putting negative 21 points. Uh, DuPont's putting a negative 8. ExxonMobil, negative 5. IBM, negative 5. Let's go take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot's down $3.16. Let's see, uh, did they, uh, no, they're coming out with numbers uh, November 14th. So that's just a pullback, and let's see what that's all about. Um, yeah, they're selling it. That's the bottom line. <laughs> um, oh, well, I, this is interesting. So the news would be a GOP plan to cut mortgage interest rates slams Home Depot. 
Uh, let's go look at the builders. T toll House. Uh, so uh, Toll Brothers is down three dollars. That's that's a big number. Um, oh man, that is a big number. Okay, so uh, that went from forty six to forty three, and. Yeah, this is going to go back into 42. And if that's the case, you know, you'll see that's get, 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 that gets back in the lower range. This was uh, consolidating. So this is going to be a good one to watch. Uh, 40 bucks is the number out here. And uh, we'll see uh, how this baby shakes out. Um, there's going to be a battle out here. Um, you start messing with the housing market. Uh, you're going to talk, you're talking j lots of jobs, you're talking about what runs uh, <laughs> business right across every neighborhood in this country. And so they're going to start screwing with it. Guess what? The battle's on. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now down 53. NASDAQ off 21. S&P's off 8.5. We're going to be right back. to tell if the economy's coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how Everbank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? Everbank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on buildable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per buildable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow right now is down 42. You get the NASDAQ off 18. S&Ps are off 8. This is going to be a fun day out here, folks, uh, particularly uh, finding out what's inside this bill. So a bunch of other talking points. The uh, GOP just released some talking points uh, without details. But this is so watch that. Watch this. This is going to be pretty cool. Well, um, yeah, first, let me address uh, uh, one of the tigers. I'm in uh, Dave uh, White was saying 
uh, let's see, uh, inside the den about the housing market when I was talking about the, is that why we'll see another bubble in housing? No one can say no. Um, it's not that no one can say no. I mean, I, I don't see us in a housing bubble. But the amount of money that housing and people fixing up houses put into the economy is a monster. It's, it's huge. I mean, just look around. You know, it, it's a cash flow that goes continually. So that battle's going to be on. Now, on this talking point, check this out. This battle's going to be on in a huge way, because watch this. Everyone is going to want a small business. Because the talking points that just come out, this is like heaven to small businesses' ears, and this is what it is. There, the talking point is saying that they're allowing business to do 100% write-off the first year. And, folks, that's a field day, which I, I love it. I mean, it's, you know, great. We put a lot of bread into these businesses. If I can write them off the first year, guess what? It's a, it's a field day. The second part, this is where this goes, and this is where that when one thing happens, it's like, okay, how are you going to own things? Well, guess what? The second part of this is that it's going to allow small businesses to totally also have a total write-off on the loans for interest. There's not a cap on it. So what are you going to do? There's not a cap on it. And the tax rate goes down. Well, guess what? You're not going to own a house for a million dollars inside your own name because the cap is going to be 500000 All you have to do is you, you open an LLC, you can own it in that, guess what? You get a business. Bingo! <laughs> There's going to be so many twists and turns of this, it's going to be unbelievable, okay? This is, this is like, uh, it, it, it's going to be wild. I mean, it, and the, so the, the key is, um, is kind of looking in, and what's there, and you go from there. But that... That looks to me, now the detail's not there, but that's the talking point that they just put out. Uh, exactly what, it, th these are the exact, exact talking points. Establishes strong safeguards to distinguish between individual wage income and pass-through businesses. Um, see details of the complexity in the new rules. Allows business to immediately write off the full cost of new equipment to improve operations. Protects the ability of small business to write off the interest on loans. That's a big number because the interest on loads, um, and this is where not everyone is going to be able to do it, because bottom line, um, personal versus business, uh, it's a lot harder getting business loans than there is personal loans. But guess what? Um, we get a, there's going to be a lot of action everywhere out here. King Dollar. Let's go over to King Dollar and see what we have happening with King Dollar out here. King Dollar right now, down 274, 11,000 contracts. So that's, that's light volume. Uh, it looks like King Dollar just may finish this ABC structure on the way up. Uh, because this is kind of the, uh, this is, yesterday you tried to get higher with 16,000. And what that would do uh, at that level, what, what that would do is say, okay, uh, you basically has a failure of that ABC structure on the way up. Uh, right here though, you know, it doesn't need much. 95, 940 is the number. So, you know, we'll see whether it can get up to that level, but at this particular point, uh, it looks like it probably will. Let's go take a look at the silver market out here. We take a look at silver. Silver right now is trading where we, let's see, silver is up uh, a penny. We had some big volume in silver yesterday, and we're going to have it today. This is good, man. This is good. 64,000 contracts already. Yesterday we did uh, 122,000. So Silva is going to make that run for the swing high of 1749. That is on the 16th. And the real kick is going to be, uh, can it get up into uh, the high of uh, the 5th of, uh, no, the 9th of September, you know. And uh, we'll see uh, how that baby uh, does shake out. Uh, let's go over and we take a look at, uh, let's see. So Facebook is getting... Uh, that's down 430. That's accelerating a little bit down. There goes Tesla. Tesla's at 298 right now. Um, that just hit a low for the day. Tesla, yeah, they, they got some problems. They're throwing some juice at Tesla. So Tesla just continues lower. And let's see what kind of big trades we have on Tesla. Uh, they're not that big. Well, $300 stock. Um, 
Someone just sold 11,000 shares at 10.06. 10.30, they sold another 10,000. 10.12, they sold 9,800. So those are, those, are, those are decent sized numbers. Let's go into Facebook and see if we get any bigger sales on Facebook. Facebook right now is trading 178. And you get a few big ones. Uh, 25,000 shares came off at uh, 1015, 45,000 at uh, three minutes of 10. The rest of them about 15, 16,000 shares at a pop, which, you know, is a big number. Facebook also, that is, until Facebook gets inside uh, 175, 49, um, it doesn't say much. Uh, let's go to the other king dogs out here. We got Amazon. Amazon right now is down $9.95. We take a look at Google. Google is uh, down 8 bucks. Microsoft is flat. Microsoft strong. $83.61. Intel. Intel uh, actually hit another high out here today, $47.15, and is backing off slightly. We go take a look at the uh, look at this Dow. So we just went from uh, let's see, where do we just go from? This this is going to be this is a good day out here, uh, trading wise. So the Dow just went from we had we had a low out here of uh, 23,350. We hit a high of 23,460. That's nice. So we get a spread here of $115. Right now, you're down 27. And you're coming right into the downdraft from this morning. And uh, let me go back over to Toll Brothers for a second. See if, you, if that's going to get any type of juice whatsoever. Nope, not yet. The uh, Walmart, we go take a look at Walmart. Uh, Walmart, uh, hanging tough, hanging tough, uh, $88.17. And so Walmart's coming out with numbers November 16th. Some of the Dow stocks out here, uh, oh, I know, let's go to the XLE. Oh, actually, first off, sorry, let's get over to the... Uh, the gas market. Sorry about this, folks. So, so gas uh, went from uh, let's see, we're at 293, and we were at, we were at 293 uh, when this come across. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials uh, right now uh, trading uh, down 23. You get the Nasdaq off 17. S and P's are off six and a half. Gold's up five dollars. Uh, silver trading at 17 dollars and 17 cents. Going to be coming right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. 
With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so let's see what else is in this uh, tax bill. Okay, so uh, another provision that's likely to provoke controversy would be would tax large university endowment income at 1.4%. That measure described by uh, Republican aid would apply to schools with assets of more than 100000 per student. It would exempt small schools. Um, okay, so let's see what else we got. Child tax credit, that's in there. I guess nothing, nothing else is that we haven't talked about just yet. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, so the, so the bill would reduce the top rate. Let me see this. Okay, so one second. Members of the Ways community uh, met late into tonight Wednesday as they discussed another issue, placing limits on a proposed tax cut for many businesses organized as partnerships, limited liability companies, and other so-called pass-throughs. Currently, such companies pass their earnings through to their owners who are taxed at the individual tax rate, which can be as high as 39%. The bill would reduce the top rate to 25, but place limits on the kind of income that would qualify, such a person said. First, professional services, including doctors, lawyers, accountants, and others, wouldn't qualify for the rate. Okay. Other business owners could choose one of two options. Categorize 70% of their income as wages and pay their individual tax rate on that, and 30% as business income, uh, taxable at 25%, or two, set the ratio of their wage income to business income based on the level of their capital investment. This is going to be kind of cool watching how this shakes out. The guidelines are aimed at preventing abuse of the 25% rate, such as high-earning individuals forming themselves into a corporation to get a tax cut. Trump and others have pitched the tax pass-through plan as a boom to small businesses, but pass-throughs can be very large businesses in addition to mom-and-pop shops. Trump and himself owns hundreds of limited liability companies. Yeah, the only way to go, folks, is a limited liability company. It's not even close either. Pass-throughs are totally um, where it's at, but you, you still pay a huge amount of taxes because of the ATM. Um, let's go to uh, Lou in Nashua. Hey, Lou, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How you been, uh, man? Same old. Same old, same old. Good. Yeah, that's it. Huh? <laughs> you, you know, I, uh, I, I uh, shorted. Uh, uh, I bought puts on Tesla. I heard that you talked about it, but I wasn't listening this morning. Okay. And uh, I bought uh, 300 puts uh, before the, you know, the earnings. Okay. So the three, and now uh, this is the ones that expire this month. 
Uh, next week. Next week. Okay. So, what you buy them at? Uh, buy me. What do they cost you? Oh, these are very cheap. Good. Well, sell them right now. Yeah. You can get ten bucks for them. Nine ninety-five. You get nine seventy-five to nine ninety for them right now. Okay. You don't. You don't suspect that Tesla's going to go lower. This is what ends up happening. So watch this. This is, folks. Would you? you would you? absolutely want to do in, in this option market, right, is Think or Swim is on right after us. Listen to them. Listen to the strategies. So watch what happens here, uh, Lou. You're at 298.68, right? Yeah. You have the 300. Mm -hmm. They're selling. You can sell them at 10 bucks right now, right? Yeah. Every day, that premium is going to get crushed because okay. they expire in, um, what, seven, five? They've expired in six days. Just over the weekend right. alone, uh, this thing's going to get crushed. They, they, these are not going to go for 10 bucks. They're, they're going for 10 bucks today because it's so highly volatile and your implied volatility is so high. It's off the, off the charts. Because the market right. makers say right. they don't know whether it's going to go up $10 or down another $10 right now. Right. right. So it's not, you know, realistically, you know, when you, when you take a look at this, that, that, Right now is really worth a dollar, a dollar forty, and they're going to give you ten bucks right. for it. Right. Hey, can you look at another one? I did. I bought. I, I bought calls on uh, Baba too. Oh my God, you really scored here. Let's take a look. You got uh, B A B A. Uh, this come out with numbers. This is up a buck seventy. Now, what strike price do you have there? Um, let's see. Oh, geez, I forget. Okay, so is it, this is going to be, they expire next week also? Yes. I'd do the same thing, man. I'd just move them. Okay. You, you're scored, man. You, you, you yeah. know. Take the money and run. Go bring your wife it's to the Four Seasons, man. Have a blast this weekend. Get down, get down to Boston. Go look at the Common Groove, man. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, thank you. Have a great one, thank man. You. Have a safe one. You Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We just went from uh, negative uh, 100 uh, down to, well, negative 80, uh, down to a, a positive in the Dow Industrials. Right now, uh, the Dow is flat. And let's see what's moving it. So uh, Boeing. Boeing is putting 15 positive points. McDonald's is putting 11. Uh, Goldman's putting 9. Let's go see where uh, good old Boeing is. Boeing's trading 220, 260. Um, bottom line, wants higher price. We take a look at Goldman Sachs. Uh, Goldman Sachs right now is uh, testing the, the highs up here. Uh, and what we did do uh, also, folks, is that we were talking about this yesterday, but Powell, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I guess it's not official yet, uh, but this is still coming across. Uh, Jerome Powell is said to be the President uh, Donald Trump's pick to be the next federal cha chairman, is set to take the reins of the world's most important central bank while the economy is uh, rolling uh, forward. So um, I expect you're going to see that uh, come across uh, the tape uh, this afternoon. So between the uh, Federal Reserve, I think that's a given what's, what's going on with Powell. What's not a given is it's, it's going to be actually what actually um, thus far it looks like the talking points are still coming out that the, um, that the major, it doesn't look to me like it's actually out yet, um, the tax bill. So what is happening... Um, Well, there's a quote here. It's hard to tell whether this is actually out yet. The talking points continue to uh, come out, but it doesn't look to me like the actual full bill is out yet. Dow Industrials right now are down seven. You get the Nasdaq uh, down nine. Uh, S&Ps are off uh, four gold contracts, up 320. You get the uh, note and bond market. Bottom line, note and bond market. Uh, <laughs> they they still want higher price. This is going to be wild watching this thing shake out, man, because, you know, interest rates, yes, have been low for a long period of time. And, you know, we haven't taken out a major swing point uh, inside the 30 years since 2000. 
Uh, the 10-year right now is 2.350. You stay right there, folks, and we come right back. Dow Industrials right now are down six. NASDAQ's off nine. S&Ps are off four. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Bitcoin. Bitcoin hit a high out here today of 73.92. You try. You're trading right now at uh, 73, 7,000. Uh, and you know what's amazing about this? You know we don't have volume on this, but when this did break, when you just look at, you know. Price projections, bottom line is that when it broke that uh, 49.21, if you take the top and the bottom of that, guess what? It was a 7,000 price projection. The amazing thing is that it did that within <laughs> with less than a month. So it, it's, it's, it's pretty wild, man. It's, it's a double, less than a month. Um, you know, if you, uh, yesterday morning we had uh, Larry's friend on John Jameson. Um, Larry's going to be doing a workshop with him again. Check it out uh, at the front page of TFNN. Well, actually, we're going to have, we'll have the date uh, up there soon because uh, it's real, it was really cool listening to how he uh, relates to markets, how he relates to risk versus reward, and how he relates to um, common sense, basically, questions that uh, can, can be asked. 
Um, yeah, so the, uh, as this uh, tax bill gets uh, laid out today, uh, there is going to be uh, a, a lot of shifting in the marketplace. And uh, one of them, which is, which is pretty cool, uh, Dave was saying in the den, uh, yeah, so is the unintended consequences of housing um, above 500 grand, um, meaning the loan about 500 grand, uh, is there going to be a, a push to do that before the end of the year? Um, my take on that is that what, what people are actually going to do, I got to read it closely, you're not going to buy a house in your name. You're gonna, I'm going to buy it in an LLC, which I have a lot of them in an LLC already. That's, you know, bottom line, you get them into business, guess what? The business write-off is there. You stay right there, folks. Uh, we got Think or Swim coming up next. And then, of course, we're going to go to, um, I'm mean, Mr. Basil Chapman, uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon, Andy Heck. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.